Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Shotgun King, the final checkmate. Welcome to the hardest mode in the game. I'm sure this will pull no punches. It is harder for several reasons. The first being that the enemy pieces start with additional bishop and pawn, which is certainly not what I want to see. Oh, I cannot get that knight. So it's going to be an uphill battle for here. And then if I make it to the final boss king, it's going to have twice the HP. So... This is just going to be exceedingly difficult. Nevertheless, I think I'm going to... Uh, I feel like the best way to play is by bum-rushing the king. But I didn't do that, so now I must kill everything before it promotes. And honestly, that might work too, because these pawns are going down decently fast. Like you. And you. And I expect this to be very difficult. This is my first try, so this is like my optimist face. I don't think it's going to go well on my first try, but if you're seeing it, either I won or I had an interesting loss. And actually, right from the get-go, I've got a decent synergy. Because gaining an ammo every time I kill a pawn works really well if there's five more pawns. And I feel a little bit better from the previous game. And the top options, at Zealot is just too extreme. I can't go for zealots. I absolutely can't. Now I can kind of convert into an aggro strategy where I bum rush the king. But I learned about how pawns really are not that um, annoying to have around because they kind of just stop other pieces from developing. I am in check. How did I, oh, how did I miss that line? At least sometimes they stop other pieces from developing. If they're actually coordinated, it can be annoying, but here I think I can kind of start sneaking over. Now, I can't get that far. I should probably pick off some pawns here and now go in. There's still coordinated, but not for long. Actually, I'll get this knight or not. I'll get this knight and this pawn. There we go. Oh my god, that bishop is perfect. You know what? Just for your crimes, you will be executed. Here we go. I've made it past enemy lines. Now I'm sure the pawns are gonna promote and screw me, but I only promoted to a knight, the fool, and this king's gonna rush me. I am in check, but I do not care because it's just a narrow victory. The pawns can stop pieces from getting out and I can hopefully get to the king and this might be nice. Charge an additional shell my royal shotgun. Pretty good when I have really good ammo regen. Of course, the red book is brutal. But then I should look for things like Crusades that remove bishops and add knights. No, this is way better. Piercing Truth is not bad against a weak pawn army, but you gotta be careful. So here's how the difficulty is gonna break down. I'm gonna at least make it to floor four, and then that's where things start getting tricky. Floor four, I mean, it, it's insane. Should have seen that one coming. The queen is introduced no matter what, and I'm suffering no matter what. So all I can do is hope that it kind of works out. I'll pick off this knight here and then go for the pawns. I got to be wary of uh, discovered checks because bishops can pull that sort of thing off more often now. You know, let's just shoot into this crowd, see what happens. This bishop can put me in check, unless if I just move here. Come on, get a bishop kill or two. Got one. I will not be put into check here. Let's eliminate this bishop and now I can just go for the king. This bishop will still not put me in check. Why? Because the pawns are in the way. And pawns don't just block off his pieces, but they block off his pieces from getting to me. Strafe mode might not be too bad. Blunderbuss is kind of exciting, though. I was just saying how I didn't really need Blunderbuss before, but now it's kind of interesting because I can store an additional shell in my shotgun. My arc is going to be insane. This is the literal definition of spray and pray. Like, my close-up shots probably won't even hit that often. And I'm gonna be honest, I actually think strafe mode is better, but I don't actually know that much about blunderbuss. How many times have you seen me really take blunderbuss on a run and center it around it? Probably not many. But I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of runs that have not made it to YouTube, and a lot of them have involved blunderbuss. Hence my hesitation. So, here, I mean, it's not too bad. You get a lot of damage, it's all cool. Let me move over here. I'll get this knight, thankfully. 
and get this crowd. Always be wary of discovered checks. I can push forward to the king. Oh, if I kill this pawn, it's lights out. You know what? I will aim this way then. I killed nothing. It ain't easy being cheesy. Still can't wipe out that king. The bishop can only move orthogonally, not attack that way. Let's just hit this head on, see what I kill. That's honestly not too bad. This is actually a really good spot to be, I think. I've got a lot in my sights. Maybe just aim in between king and queen. And now back up. Yeah, I mean, I'm in double check. This king still has three HP. Oh, that bishop's gonna check. It's not gonna check me. You know what? Aim for the king then. It's just usually gonna connect. I got enough firepower in there to deal with. I beat floor four. I mean, it's still only gonna get harder, but damn, is that not nice. King is allowed to right click to fire all loaded shells? I think that's actually really good for my build. Going from six to five power is not significant because really I'm going from six to 10 power, but I'm shooting every other turn instead of two out of three turns. It's still a positive. Will I be greedy? I have to be greedy. This is too exciting to not do. I, I, even though I'm about the hardest mode in the game, I'm still kind of picking the stuff that seems the most fun. I still think the top choice is like the safer and better choice, but I really want to make this work. So advance a little bit, put me in coach. So now right click, nice. I'm not gonna be put in check here, so I'll reload. Let's take out these knights. Still not gonna be put in check, but let me move like this. And now fire. All right, second shot was just okay. This is insanely powerful because now I'm going to start reloading or get more ammo with pawns. This king's got another thing coming. Bam, bam. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, Let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay, I think I'll kill this bishop. I, I have two shots. I should kill it. Good. So now I'm out of ammo. Maybe I'll kill. <laughs> uh, anyway, just kill somebody. No. I have every right to be terrified right now. I have barely any place to go. These bishops are going to check me if I'm not careful. I feel I should get rid of this queen right now. Okay, now I can start making moves. Well, I've still got to be careful. Damn, I mean, there is nowhere to go. Keep making my way towards the king. Towards the king. Okay, two shots. Thank the Lord, let's go. This is a sick build. Even after the bishop showed up, I was doing great. I cannot go ritual dagger. Fire range is too important. But zealots blows. I mean, removing the HP of the king is not that bad. And plus, in title is not brutal at all. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, actually, ritual dagger it plays right into my strategy. You may have noticed, I do a lot of aggro strategies. In almost all strategy games, I actually love a good aggro strategy. I just kind of, I, I go towards it because aggro strategies always kind of come into a game of a bunch of small tactics instead of like a larger scope strategy with long-term thinking and odds manipulation. It's more like, okay, what's the best possible thing I can do in this moment? I meant to right click instead of left click. Tactics are hard if you're speaking at the present moment though, so keep that in mind. Anyways, the whole point of me saying that was, Ritual Dagger plays into an aggro strategy. You win faster with it, at least hopefully. And you know what, I will be bold enough to ignore this knight. I would like some ammo from these pawns. Now though, I'll move over here, try to get a couple things. I mean, it was okay. See so here's what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take one shot on the bishop. Here comes the cavalry. Take a reload here and try to get this queen. Good. That's a check I can handle. Now I think I can bum rush the king. Oh, please approach me. All right, this will easily kill. Very nice. Thank you for signing your own death letter. If you'd ran away, it could have been complicated, but you're stupid. Uh, courteous jousting is quite good. Lowering the fire arc, extra turns when I kill knights. There's quite a few knights. Pikemen, I've found that I'm not that scared of. But you know what I am scared of? Bishops being able to move across any obstacles. Nope, 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 nope. Because I assume that also means blocking pawns. So, 
Give me this. All right, so now I gotta be sure I can't get too close to these pawns. I'll move here. Now what I need, though, somehow is more fire range. I'm actually gonna move over for this one, just so I don't get put in check somehow. What does this even hit? Just a bit. So I suppose I'll move to the edge, as scary as that is. Give me an extra... Oh, the pawn. Right, okay, I gotta wipe you out then. Let me make sure there's nothing else. I should be killing this pawn. I have two shots on him. It's gonna be awfully embarrassing if I don't. Good. This is scary, though. If I move here, will this knight move up? It does. I think I'm willing to take the shot at these knights then. Yeah, it's about time I stop playing like a coward. I got them both. Rewarded for bravery. Because now, I can get in the face of the king. There's a dumb knight in the way, though. I, and I'm in check. But I can get in his face. Um, do I think the king will come close? Or do, do I think he'll run away? Let's find out. He ran. Gotta be extra careful now. Because I'm still in check. I only have one move. And this is a nightmare scenario. I mean, this is also a scenario where I would not mind strafe jump. I think the play is to put me on the edge and hope the bishop moves exactly there. Because now I might be able to get both the bishop and the knight. Or at least a little something extra. Let the queen come close. Because this is a guaranteed kill. Suddenly I'm feeling kind of decent. Let's go here. I think I kill this king. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. That's what I'm talking about. Damn, these are still tough. Like, I'm trying to pick cards that do not make the white pieces any better, because I know I can win this fight. Uh-oh. However, a lot changed. I mean, Corner Despot is insane with my build. That's plus four damage. Plus two HP on the king stinks, but I also have plus four damage. And I cannot afford to give white another queen, even if their move spaces are limited. When's the last time you saw a queen move more than three squares? They're doing quite fine, even if this card would be in play. So, I gotta stay on the edge now, but I've been playing on the edge quite a bit. Just move along the edge. Let's see, get anything good here? Extra turn. Keep it going. Well, it's a hit something. I am not in check. Right, let's kill some pieces. Beautiful. I still will not be in check. Kill some pieces. Still. Oh, I'm going to be in discovery check, but actually that's okay. Because I can advance. Get some damage. Uh, I'm going to stay still right now, see what happens. Run around a bit. Reload. I'm going to take a weird series of turns. Invite the king close and smoke him. Oh, that's tough. Peace is not good for me. I demand war. Yeah, the red book is so good with bishops. Court of the king is interesting. I do give a lot of pieces, but plus two damage effectively. And every piece gets slower. If they're slow and I'm fast, I do good. And honestly, August presence might not even be good for me right now. My spread is so wide that I kind of need enemy pieces to be up in my face, so I think I'm going to take Court of the King. That is a ton of pieces, though. The knights are in the second row. I hope I don't regret this. I mean, I have insane damage. Okay, those knights are getting in my face. Let's just get them. I need some more range, if I can help it. Okay, make sure there's no discovered checks, and there aren't. Good. Even if I move here, no discovered. This will get the pawn. Thank you. Now, I would like the, to invite the king into my court. So stand still, see what happens. Spray and pray. That wasn't too bad. Uh, the bishop and the rook are going to be awfully annoying. There's a world in which this bishop comes close, and I do live in that world. His king is terrified of me. I'll take a turn to get to the edge and see what I can wipe out. Sometimes you get something good. Sometimes you get a few good things. Next, I want to eliminate this bishop, and that's just a one-shotter. Because now I can get you... I mean, I have eight power. There's no way I don't kill. There's no way. Now I've got to be careful. I'm only having one ammo. 
If I move here, I think the rook's gonna move over, and I think the queen's gonna move over to here, giving me a spot to here to move. And even if the queen moves, say, here, I still have places to move, so this gives me outs. Nice. I want this queen dead. I think it was just necessary. I'm gonna stay here real quick. Move over. Bishop back up. I'm no longer scared of, actually. Think I kill this rook? And now I can get the king. Gotta be careful to, like, not be backed up against the wall. So I'm gonna go here. Shoot a bishop. I know, this is kind of annoying. Let me see how much damage one shot does. Three. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I was thinking, why don't I just try to two-tap the king? But it's never that easy. Here, though, you're gonna get close. And now I can glory kill you. It was basically wait until the white king moves. I didn't see any other way out. Oh, this bottom one is quite good for me. Both cards are upsides for me. Fewer bishops, more knights. That's what I'm talking about. I cannot believe. I, either I'm getting lucky or I'm, I'm cracking the code where more pieces it just plays into my strategy perfectly. You want to take a shot, see what happens. Any life. I saw. Okay, each of these knights have one HP. Air 4, if I move here and you approach me, I'm killing you. Almost certainly. Two shots, eight power, one HP. There's no way you live. Even if you're on the edge, I think. Because I, I do want to get a bit greedy and kill some more knights. Like, one stray bullet's going to hit you. <laughs> I'm, I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. But in a scenario like this, I do feel that taking a greedy play is a necessity. No discovered checks. Get him. Right, be careful this rook. Oh, that's a pawn. You know what? I'll just reload right here. Pick up a knight. Get an extra turn. Just shoot into the crowd. We got a bit more HP. I am in check. Because now I gotta leave the cozy edge of the board. I want to shoot this knight so bad, but there's a good chance I kill this pawn behind me, and then the queen gets me. So you know what? I'll do a series of moves. I didn't want to be in the corner. Get you... Yeah, his king's wisened up. I smack-talked him enough that he realized that running like a coward is actually smart. Okay, you're dead. Again, I can't shoot into the pawn crowd. There's just discover checks up the ass. Take a knight, though. And I've got to be extra careful, because they are pikeman pawns. Okay, I won't get put into check here, but now I've got to start... Just kill something, please. That was embarrassing. Oh, am I mated? You know, I guess I just hadn't noticed that. I thought it was in safety, but honestly, once again, the reach of the pikemen messes with me. Damn, this was a good run, though. Oh, if this is a taste of how hard this is to come. This was a damn good run. And even still, I mean, it was an uphill battle all the way. Because, yeah, I can't go here. I can't go here. And, of course, Rook gets this column. Or row and queen gets this column. I'm on the edge of the board. Can't shoot. It's all over. Well, GG. I choose to die by queen. Because maybe the queen didn't learn how to move even though the time was up. Well, that'll do it for this episode. This is going to be damn hard. There was a lot of hard decisions this run. It's tough to say if I made the right one. It felt like every decision was just going to make it obscenely hard in its own unique way. I'm excited to see if I can get more runs that can take a shot at the king. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.